Hi, I'm Rolf Blythe, the new director of Arian Press and the nonprofit Grabhorn Institute. I joined the press in February, and I'm excited to build on the press's 45-year commitment to fine press book publishing. Most recently, I was publisher of Counterpoint Press in Berkeley, and while I'd known Arian by reputation for many years, there's something very different about walking through the door and seeing a place like Arian in action, with the typecasters, the presses, the bindery, all running at full steam. It's an incredible place to be, and I'm pleased to be here. Typically, we'd be reaching out to you now to promote our spring benefit, but in the past few months, it forced us all to reevaluate our plans. There's a great deal happening here behind the press room doors we know you'll want to be a part of. We have a number of singular book projects already underway, collaborations with incredible artists and writers, and some stellar public programming that will resume in the coming months virtually, and then eventually in our San Francisco location. We want to assure you that through this challenging time, we remain committed to our mission to preserve this one-of-a-kind fine print bookmaking facility and intend to keep pushing the boundaries of what fine press titles can and should be in the 21st century. We're especially proud to announce an Aryan edition of Wool Gathering by music icon and National Book Award winner Patti Smith. This short, imagistic memoir, written in midlife, covers Smith's girlhood through young adulthood and provides a wonderful counterpoint to her beloved memoir, Just Kids. In addition, we look forward to publishing On Location by Barry Lopez, an original, masterful essay that explores our shifting concept of place in a world where one in five people is now a migrant. We'll publish an edition of Nikolai Gogol's surreal short story, The Nose, illustrated by William Kentridge. And this year, we're producing an edition of Willa Cather's A Lost Lady with illustrations by Miriam Kleinstall and introduced by Pulitzer Prize winner Jane Smiley who declares it the Cather work that moves her the most. This summer, Arian will publish a very special project, John Steinbeck's Sea of Cortez. The book chronicles the 4,000-mile voyage Steinbeck and biologist Ed Ricketts took in 1940 from Monterey, California, around the Baja Peninsula. This unique pairing of novelist and biologist yielded an incredible collaboration, combining science, philosophy, adventure, all set within a riveting travelogue. The Steinbeck Ricketts journey took place aboard a sardine boat, the Western Flyer, currently being lovingly restored in Port Townsend, Washington. In collaboration with the Western Flyer Foundation, Arian's deluxe edition will be housed in a box made entirely out of the Western Flyer's reclaimed wood. The book will be illustrated by renowned wood engraver Richard Wagner, noted for his intricate renderings of the Pacific Coast. This edition of Sea of Cortez is the kind of singular book that only Arian could publish, the type forged in Arian's foundry, typeset and printed in our press room, and bound on site by hand. Arian will produce only 200 limited edition and 50 deluxe edition copies. The book will be made available to our subscribers first and then released to the general public. We at Arian depend on our subscribers. By committing to purchase each title in our catalog as it's produced, subscribers receive a 30% discount on most titles and are given the first opportunity to purchase deluxe editions of Arian publications, most of which sell out before becoming available to the public. These guaranteed sales allow us to project our budget for future projects, to take risks, and to dream big. We set a goal to bring on 50 new subscribers in 2020, and we need your help. If you're a current subscriber or a fan, please share this video with a book collector or fine press enthusiast you may know. Consider gifting a subscription to your alma mater starting a legacy that will live on for years to come. Arian subscriptions also make great gifts for museums, libraries, or institutions interested in the preservation of fine print. And if subscribing is impossible, we encourage you to donate to the Grabhorn Institute via our website to support our nonprofit educational mission. Your donation helps us ensure that the craft of handbook binding lives on through our unique apprenticeship program designed to train a new generation of printers and bookmakers it also supports our gallery openings, readings, lectures, and the popular tour of our San Francisco foundry, press room, and bindery. Thank you all for your support. We look forward to great things to come and the day we can again see you all in person. You'll be hearing from us soon.